So we are in step 1610, which is all about inserting lines, auto shapes, and text boxes. There may be a time when you need to create your own graphics, such as illustrate a map with directions to enclose and invitations or something like that. You can do this by using drawing objects, which are simply shapes, curves and lines that allows you to customize your own graphics. You can also use auto shapes which are a pre-designed drawing of objects such as maybe a star, an arrow, or a square. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we will do is start with a blank document. So get a blank new document and Turn on your non-printing characters. Now we'll be primarily working uh, with our insert tab to insert our shapes, but then we'll have a tools that you'll see in just a second. So let's click on insert. And from insert in our illustration group, um, we will go to shapes. Drop down on your shapes arrow. And notice that you have um, lines, rectangles, basic shapes, um, block arrows. You have all different types of shapes and lines to choose from. Point to um, the line. So if you look here and get that screen tip, the first thing you want to do is get a line. So click on the line and then notice my insertion point turns into a cross. If you hold your mouse down and drag it across your screen, why don't you start from one margin tab marker to the other and drag it all the way across your screen and notice I can um, have a straight line, have it up, have it down, and then once you release your mouse, you should have a straight line. And mine look a little crooked, so I'm going to try to move it up a little bit. Okay, there. That looks perfect to me. So you should have a straight line um, across your document. Now, now that we have a straight line, notice that we have a drawing tools. Now, again, click out of the straight line, your drawing tools disappears. If you click on your straight line, your drawing tool format reappears. So this allows you to format your line. So let's go ahead and format our line. If you click shape outline, drop down, notice we have several colors that we can choose from. Um, why don't we change it to black and go back to shape outline and move down to weight and let's change the weight of our line to three points and notice that the line is now heavier so um, go back well we don't have to go back to more because notice here in we don't have to go back to our insert tab because we have insert shapes right here so if you drop down, notice it's the same options that we had. So we just drew a straight line. So the next thing we will do is um, get a line. And this time you will click um, at the start of the, the um, previous line and draw a line that is diagonal that goes across like that. And notice you have your format. Go back to your shape outline and we want to make this color red. Okay, and we're going to keep the line. Um, why don't we go back and make it, let's say, go to your line weight and make it um, one point, a little bit thicker. Okay, so we just um, inserted two lines, 
going in two different directions. Go back to your insert shapes. And this time, we will um, select the rectangle tool. So click on your rectangle. And your rectangle, um, you want to start right above your thick line and draw, hold your mouse down and draw past the diagonal line and then move it over to create your rectangle like so. Okay, so you should have a, a rectangle box that overlaps both of your lines. Go back and click your shape field up here in your shape styles and drop down on the arrow and click a green color. to select and notice that your color your box is now filled with green and I'm gonna change my outline to red so I changed the color of my the outline of my box alright now so let's go back to our more button and we want to select the right arrow so click on that right arrow and we're going to draw the arrow in the middle of the green rectangle box. So I'm going to click, uh oh, did I not click on it? Right arrow and then I got my plus so I'm going to click and I'm just going to move my arrow and as I go over to the right and down Going to the right makes my arrow longer, but going down makes it wider. Okay, so I think that's a good size. And notice the four-headed arrows allows you to move it using your move tool. You can move it wherever you want. And that goes for all of your shapes. You're able to get that move tool to actually move your um, shapes. All right, so... Um, the next thing we need to do is um, click the insert tab in the text group. So let's go to insert and find your text box, which is in your text group, which is right here. And click on your text box and we want to draw a box. All right. So you're going to draw a text box um, maybe about one inch high by one inch wide in the middle of the rectangle. So notice I have my plus arrow. I'm just going to, let's see, draw my text box. There you go. Okay, so uh, once you draw your text box, you just click and draw and release your mouse. Um, insert your name into the text box. So basically, the purpose of entering the text box is because when you draw a shape, in order to put text in it, you have to have um, your, your text box. All right, so now that we have our text box in the arrange group, which is here, let's send the text box backwards. Notice that when we sent it backwards, the text box moved back one layer in its position behind the arrow. So with the text box still selecting, this time let's drop down and send to the back. Notice when we sent to the back, your text blended in with your 
rectangle shape. So let's drop down again. We're just looking at the different options. And this time, let's um, actually let's go up and bring to the front. So when you bring it to the front, um, the diagonal lines move forward one layer in front of the rectangle, um, but behind the arrow, the text box sits on top of the arrow as well. And then let's, let's see, drop down and bring forward. Bring in front of the text and nothing changed. All right, so um, basically this, um, click on the arrow and bring the arrow forward on top of your text box and you can leave it like that, turn off your show hide. And we just kind of played around with drawing shapes, changing by going to the format, the outline, or the weight of the lines, drawing shapes, entering a text box so that we can enter text. And from there, we went and sent our text to the front or to the back um, and overlapped shapes. Um, this is just something you can play around with and get creative. Like I said, um, create a map or something like that that um, requires shapes and lines to um, in, include in another document or something like that. But remember, you have to be in the shape in order to have your drawing tools to format those shapes. Notice it's gone because I'm clicked outside of the box. So this concludes this step of drawing. Um, if you have some time, just take some time and play around. This concludes this step. I'll see you on the next step.